Today we're going to be dropping this fish trap in one of my favorite spots in this crystal clear water. Now at this spot we've caught tons of cool things before. We've seen sharks here, we've seen manta rays, we've seen big giant barracudas, we've even caught some really cool file fish. And believe it or not, we've actually netted multiple eels here. We've, we've netted a chain link eel, which is actually currently swimming around in my giant saltwater pond. And we've got the green moray eel, which is also swimming around in the saltwater pond. We've actually caught two green moray eels here, so there's definitely a a lot of variety at this spot. A lot of baby fish, a lot of big giant parrot fish, tons of cool stuff here. So we're gonna be setting a trap near these rocks in this crystal clear water, leaving it for a good bit and seeing what swims inside. Let's set this trap. So today guys, we're using some shrimp. We're going classic shrimp today because I have a feeling today with the shrimp. I know I, I change it up every once in a while, but the shrimp is money. I just saw a really cool orange and black parrot fish that I really wanna catch. So we're gonna see it. Holy <laughs> I thought that was it. <laughs> I thought I was getting attacked. So we're gonna drop this trap right in these rocks and see if we catch anything. I think right there's a really good spot right by this rock because there's current that pushes in between these two rocks here and it's really, really shallow. And I already see a bunch of baby sergeant majors, a bunch of cool stuff swimming around in, in and around that rock. So we're gonna leave that thing there. And hopefully we catch something good today, guys. Cross your fingers. Now a good fish guy doesn't go anywhere without his rod. And actually right, right by the trap, it's literally been like five minutes and the trap is already piled up with fish. I'm gonna toss a piece of shrimp right on the outside of the trap, see if I can catch anything cool. Ready, watch this. Oh my Damn. God, there's fish everywhere here, guys. There's some oh. big... <laughs> I think I might die today. That's so nice to say. <laughs> I've almost fallen in and almost got attacked by a dog. And I almost twisted my ankle on these rocks. It's, <laughs> it's dangerous out here being a fish guy. Now guys, I always have a feeling, obviously living in Florida, anytime you're fishing, putting a fish trap out there, that we're gonna catch something cool. So if we do catch something cool and you guys wanna see this again, I want, I just got some new fish traps and I wanna leave 24 hour fish traps here. I'm gonna have to hide them in the rocks so no one steals them. So drop a like on this video. If it gets like 4,000 likes, I will do a 24 hour fish trap here in this crystal blue water in the middle of the inlets. I think that would be a money spot. So ready? Hook number two. Oh my God, no! A ras, big ras, big ras. Oh my God, I just missed him. I'm going back for him. There's a big blue headed ras right here. He's going after you. And he is so cool. <gasps> He's going after it guys, blue headed ras. They're so elusive here though. <laughs> like actually, they're so hard to catch. Come on, Mr. Blue Head Ras. Got him, got him on. Got a nice tropical fish here. Got a nice tropical fish here. It's not the blue headed ras, guys. I need to come back with a serious arsenal to try to catch this blue headed ras here. Let me know in the comments if you think I should do it. Those are really cool fish and there's like 10 of them there, but my hook is just too big. Now this guy is a classic Sergeant Major, but I actually haven't caught these guys in a really long time. They've been missing, they've been MIA. Well, there he is guys, he just pooped all over my hand. Nice. Look at that fish. You guys like that? Whoa, I gotta save him, he's on the rocks. Come here buddy. Fish guys never leave a fish behind, even if you poop on my hand. Ready, I'm gonna let him go here. See you bud. <laughs> I honestly think Sergeant Majors are cool. They're yellow, that's dope. Guys, I cut this on a hook. Look how cool this one is, dude. He's got purple claws. I gotta hold them like this because if I get pinched by these things, yeah, they look small, those pincers, but they have serious power. Look at that thing, that thing is crazy. I got him on a shrimp and a hook. Honestly, I didn't even hook him. He just, he wouldn't let go of the shrimp. So I think we should, so we're gonna let this guy go. He's just being really greedy with my shrimp. Honestly, a sick crab. I kinda wanna keep him, but I don't want to at the same time. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Ready? Toss him right, on, right back on that little rock there. See you, buddy. All right, guys, it's officially time to pull the trap. Look how crazy the water changes instantly. The tide just switched, and look how brown the water is already. So I'm going down these rocks. The trap was there for a good 30, 45 minutes in a perfect spot with tons of fish, tons of activity. So let's grab this trap and see what's inside, baby. Let's do it. All right, let's see what's inside. Brooke? What? I think we have an eel in here. I think we have an eel. No way. You're oh, kidding. Man. You're oh kidding. Oh my God, there's a baby eel in here. Where? I'm gonna have to grab him because I don't have a net. Look at him right there. It's a baby oh chain link. God. It's a baby chain link. Let's go. I'm gonna have to pick him up. I'm gonna have to get risk by getting bit by him. I'm gonna have to risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Oh my god. I have to. Oh my god. I have to. Oh, this is crazy. Look at that. Look at that eel. Holy cow, that's a baby chain link. Look at that. That's insane. Holy cow. That's nuts. Brooke, that's crazy. That's insane. Look, he's like a snake. That's nuts. I gotta get him on my bucket and we gotta take this guy home right away. That's Crazy! Holy cow! Oh my god! There's eels everywhere here, dude. Oh my god, that's crazy! I'm gonna get him in this bucket. Whoa, he's so slippery! No! Get in there, buddy! Come on, dude! Get in there, buddy! Yes! Look at him in there! Him? Look at him in there! Can you see him in there? This is actually a perfect bucket for him. I just bought this, and there's a lid on it, so it's perfect. Oh my god, that's so crazy! Let's go! I've only seen big ones here, never small ones. But of course, if there's big ones, there's got to be small ones. I'm locking this thing up. Oh my god, that is epic! Let's go, baby! Chain link eel in a fish trap. The inlet. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little excited. <laughs> the inlet is loaded, guys. I gotta come back here and do a 24-hour trap. Like this video if you want to see it happen. I think we gotta get back to the house. I want to put this guy. Maybe I think. 
in my tank. Let's get this guy in the freaking aquarium, baby. That's sick. What a catch. All right, guys, we made it back to the house with our new chain link eel that we caught today in the fish trap. Now, if you guys do want to check out the fish traps that I use or the cameras that I use or the fishing reels and rods that I use and some of the tanks even that I use, I put them all in the description, all the links down there. So if you see all those new links down there, I just like to put that stuff so you guys can see what I use. And if you guys want to use them too, you can click those links and use them yourself. But it is crazy how insane the eels have been recently. As soon as they smell any sort of bait or shrimp in the water, they just dart right to it. It's crazy. They're kind of stupid. They just swim right into the fish traps. So brand new baby chain link eels in that little bucket. Obviously, I can't put him in the giant saltwater pond because he'll get eaten by either one of the eels or uh, one of the groupers, the big groupers that we got. By the way, pants has turned completely platinum. That fish has changed from being dark brown, just like pots, and is now completely full-blown platinum. That is actually insane. I cannot believe that actually happened. I was shocked to see how drastic his color change is, guys. A straight up platinum giant grouper that is absolutely epic. But the chain link eel in this pond is actually, that's the same species of eel that we just caught today. So the big boy that we caught for the big pond right there, he's chilling on top of the rocks, just hanging out. It's his favorite spot. He likes to go on top of the whole rock structure and chill right up top there. So he's doing great in here, but that's the same exact eel that we caught today. Obviously, I'm not gonna be putting him in here, but just to show you the comparison in size, the one we caught today is like seven inches. This guy right here is one big eel and he's thriving in the pond. Also guys, I'm obviously not gonna be putting him in the new shark pond because the horn shark will definitely eat him. The horn shark is doing phenomenal. His favorite meal is actually squid. So I tried the shrimp, he didn't really like it, he kept spitting it out, but the squid he absolutely loves. So the shark is doing fantastic. So obviously the eel will not be going in there. Another option is the mini pond with all my baby little eels in there. The yellowhead, the tessalata, those eels are doing phenomenal. But once again, I'm worried those eels are definitely bigger than him. They're definitely gonna eat him for lunch. So the only other option, guys, is putting him in my 55 gallon tank, the mini monster tank, which is actually coming along very nicely. We've got the angler fish, we've got the puffer fish, the hyphen snapper, and now the baby chain link eel. It's a perfect addition for the mini monster tank. Let's get him in there. All right, guys, we're gonna put our brand new eel in the 55 gallon tank with our angler fish, our giant anemone, and our other puffer fish and snapper in here. Now he's definitely gonna be able to hold his ground. He's got some rocks in here to hang out in and he's definitely gonna be perfectly safe in here. Now I gotta give a shout out to Chris for this comment right here to name the angler Clifford the Big Red Angler. I think that's a hilarious name and that's officially his name because he's gonna get giant. So our bright red angler fish is gonna be named Clifford and we're gonna feed him like crazy and we're gonna get him to become Clifford the Big Red Angler Fish. Okay, let's get our brand new chain link eel in the saltwater aquarium right here, guys. I'm pumped. I right, know here he is going in the tank guys. Look at that guy in the net. I cannot believe we actually caught this baby dude in a fish trap. I actually can believe it because eels are crazy. He's so cool dude. Look at the colors on him. He's purple and yellow. This is a fire catch dude. I'm so pumped. Look at him swimming. Let's go. Let's go. He's gonna go right for the rock. There he is sticking his head out swimming around checking out the tank. Look at the colors on that eel guys. The purple and the yellow. We need epic names for this guy in the comments. Drop those comments down below to figure out what this guy's name is gonna be. He is absolutely epic in this tank. I'm so stoked. We caught this little dude today. Hopefully, Clifford the Big Red uh, Anglerfish does not eat him. Thank you guys so much for watching. What an epic day out on the water. Remember to comment those names down below so we can get a name for our brand new baby chain link eel. Absolutely epic catch today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.